I've got a Bontech dual gear kit from a Prusa Mini. What do you think about it? Let's find out! So let me begin with a very big thank you to Robert Avalos. Uh, thank you very much for uh, the contribution you gave to the channel. You made this uh, video possible, so I want to dedicate this to you, my friend. This video is about the Bontech uh, extruder you see right here. So I want to go through it and explain to you why I consider this a superior design towards the Prusa original one. But before we start, if you want to consider to subscribe to my channel, that will mean a lot to me. So thank you very much for that. But Let's not dwell on this too much and let's go into the nitty gritty details. So we got ourselves this Bontech extruder kit for the Prusa Mini. So uh, let's open this up. I got this from 3djake.com and I also got this extra sticker. Yeah, very fun one. Flat is boring. So let me set this aside. I'm going to stick it somewhere. So let's open this beauty and here we are. So the first one is a card thanking us for buying from Bontech and some instructions to reach out uh, technical support. Another nice and shiny sticker. I'm also going to set this aside. Yeah, the box looks quite neat. Piece of foam and this is the extruder itself. So let's take it out. I can remove the box. So let's give this one a look. So first of all, looks very much well manufactured. And looking at it, it looks like it's casted. But if you look closely here, there's some layer lines, maybe. Also here looks like there's some layers. But yeah, the finish on this side looks like some sheeting. And uh, so if I have to make my bet, I would guess that this is actually laser sintered or uh, sintered in some other way. It's not filament, I would guess. This looks like it's sturdy plastic. It's probably nylon or, or some kind of hard plastic like that. That's a bearing down there. And the reason why I know this is not casted, but it's most likely 3D printed is because of this hole here. So you might see that there is a through hole passing through all the way through this channel down to the outlet on this side. And I doubt that they have gone through the hassle of making this in, uh, in a casting. This instead, this is molded and you can tell by the two uh, buttons here for the for the uh, mold extrusion uh, mold ejection so overall quality is very nice so let's see what's the magic in this one so all the magic is in these two things so these ones are both mounted on bearings from what I can tell yeah one is going to be between these two bearings the shaft and the other hand of the shaft down there and this is probably sitting on needle bearings like the one they have in the for the Prusa i3. So the good thing about this, then I'm going to try to magnify it a bit, is that there's very, very little clearance from where the, the filament leaves the hole here and the extruder gears. And there is this little notch here, you might see the notch. That is used because this has some slack on the vertical side, so that one aligns the groove to the wire or to the filament. So let's see what happens if we pass some filament through it. Yeah, this bit of leftover filament. So if I pass it through here, we see it coming out this way and it comes out the other way. So what happens here is that by turning this, I'm going to move the filament back and forth. Now, this is not sitting on the other bearing, so it's a bit wobbly, but that's that's the basic uh, principle. And what is the beauty of this one is that no matter how much you tighten this thumb screw, which is uh, not there yet, but uh, uh, what is going to happen is that the teeth of the two gears are going to uh, 
get in contact so you're not actually squeezing this against the other one so you're not pressing your filament too hard. So if I try to put this one in and of course I'm not going to assemble this finally. So now it's pretty easy to see that if I just move the gear by hand it will just move and yeah no matter I mean now I'm releasing it but uh, if I push it, this is a medium slight push, then if I push it quite hard, it's not so much more drag that it gets on the gears. And that's because the extra force is taken up by the teeth in the two, in the two hubs. I think it's pretty cool and pretty clever as well. That's it for the unboxing part. And this is the extruder of the original Prusa Mini. I'm not sharing how to take it out of the machine because uh, I have another video for that where I also explain how to remove a clog. Link in uh, the card below above. And I'm going to share you why I think this is an inferior design. Even if I have to say this is pretty clever uh, from Prusa. So the problem with this one, if you take away this, is that you have basically your hob with the uh, with the teeth to draw to drag the filament around and that is acting directly against this bearing which I'm going to take out in a second and all of these is actually tensioned by a spring which is assembled in this one so you see here that it's spring loaded first of all it's quite difficult to understand how much pressure you have to put in this one and uh, I struggled with it as well. Plus it's also not very easy to reach when it's sitting on the machine so that is also something I not particularly like. But the problem is you see here that there is nothing basically stopping this from pushing too hard on the hob on the other side. So if you over tighten this screw and this spring you will get too much tension in the in your extruder and you will grind off your filament or you will deform it so it then it will, it will clog in the it will clog in the bottom tube because it gets deformed now this is the spring that gets in here and this is what you're supposed to be using to define how much tension you want to put on the on the idler so this is barely uh, barely gripping and the problem as I say is that there is nothing that is releasing this tension so if you over tighten this then you will have a problem because the bearing will actually push too hard on the hob so this is how it looks like and you can see that I have in fact I have had a clog and I stopped using the machine because I was fed up with this and I was waiting for the, for the Bonte cap rate to arrive so this is a plain bearing and nothing is actually stopping it except of course when it uh, hits the stop uh, because this is basically when it gets to the end of his stroke it will just touch against this bit here. So this is why I have decided to change that and uh, I hope you have learned something new today. And just to share the same experience I made with the Bontex. So what happens if I push this through here? So you see that already from the start that if you want to push this in you will have to lift the lever. So you see that if I try to move the gear it, the, the lever will lift and this is what actually applies the tension and if I increase the tension, this will basically stop and it will be impossible for me to move it by hand. Well, if you, if you loosen it, then it will move quite easily. So that is, in my opinion, the downside of, of this extruder here. It's very much sensitive on the force you apply on this spring. And this concludes my video for today. I hope you enjoyed what you saw and uh, my personal conclusion is that this piece of hardware is a good addition to an already uh, quite awesome machine. I didn't have the chance to test it so I'm going to uh, test it on a separate video. 
I'm also, uh, I also shot the sequence of how to install it, but we have very good instruction from Bontech, so I really don't consider that necessary. So I didn't want to make this video excessively long by uh, adding details about how to assemble this on the machine. It is all in all pretty straightforward. I will also check if with this one I will be able to print flexibles. It was not possible for me to print flexibles with the original extruder on the Prusa Mini because the filament was actually uh, winding up inside the extruder body, so that was impossible for me. It might have been something I could have fine-tuned by uh, checking the tension on the idler, but I never really uh, had the chance to do it, so I'm going to, to give this a try and I keep you posted about this. And that's con that concludes it for today, so thank you for watching and until next time!